My name is Jamie Robinson, I'm 23, a box out of uh, Caldwell Promotions. Uh, when I was six year old I, I come downstairs and I had a big fuss about three o'clock in the morning and Mike Tyson, I think it was Julius Francis or something like that fight. And I remember boxer, watching a boxer called Paul Ingle and he had camouflage shorts and that was my first ever memory and I was about, about four or five, something like that. I turned to my dad, watched the boxing and I said I want to do it. And I had a bit of, had a bit of bother at school because of my hair colour. So my dad took me down the boxing gym, which he used to do, and uh, it took off from there, really. Yeah, I was, I was six years old and I, I walked into the gym and I was nervous for the first first session. And he said, hey, I can bring my gum shield the next time. So I went out to the shop, I remember getting my gum shield from the sports shop, did that. Um, and I, I remember waking up in the middle, middle of the night and just checking to see if it was real and just seeing if I had my gum shield there so I could spar the next, next week. When I was young, I was a little tear away. I was doing stuff which made the older lads a bit proud, like as being a bit of a joey for the older boys and running around doing naughty boy stuff. So I decided, my mum decided to move me up here when I lost my best mate. Moved up here and uh, she made, I made a promise to my mum, I made a promise to my best mate that I'd be a British champion before I'm 26. And that's, that's my aim, so yeah, it's pretty, a lot of dedication and I, I just give everything I've got. I wake up in Reveal every morning, it's just on my mind. I'll, I go to sleep with thinking about boxing. Um, I'm not one of them fighters that begin to look in who I'm fighting or I leave that down to my team because I pay them to do a job and that's to look after me, get me the right fights at the right time. I really, I really like to have a tear up. I like a proper toe to toe when the crowd gets behind me. I like to grip my teeth and just get stuck in, but my trainer, my trainer likes me to box, so I, I try and keep my head, my head calm and just keep keep to my boxing, which I, which I'm good at. And but it's just I, I sometimes get dragged into a fight, which is quite entertaining for the paying customers, but it can be pretty dangerous because anybody can fight, but not everybody can box. I'm very busy. I throw about 100 to 150 punches around. Um, they can keep you one, one or two rounds, and then after that, it's. They, they, they sort of fade off, but because I've got a good, good, very good stamina and a good engine, I keep going and going and going, and I'm a very good body puncher. My last fight was in March, and I, I got, I, I knocked someone out in 64 seconds with a body shot, and just a response I've had for this next fight, because everybody likes a winner, and everybody likes to see a knockout, and hopefully I can put, get another knockout for my fans. It's on the Friday the 15th of May at I Sheffield, I boxed there before, I had, a, I had a bad decision there, but I'm hoping to clear the demons and come back with a nice win, like my last fight. Just, just, be, just be ready for an exciting toe-to-toe -to -toe fight and it's just going to be fast, explosive. I've trained too hard to lose and I, I give everything, so hopefully I get a nice win for my fans.